What's going on guys? Steffler from Abu Gaming here. I stream on Twitch five days a week with my wife. Um, we play a wide variety of games right now at the time of recording. We're very deep into Anthem. We really love Apex, uh, PUBG, all those kind of games, Rainbow Six. If you guys like any of that stuff and want to check out a cool interactive duo stream with the most positive community on Twitch, make sure you come check us out. So I wanted to do this video because at least once a stream, people ask us how we do this. Uh, it's kind of common nowadays. I wouldn't say uh, it's extremely unique. There's a lot of duo streams out there. Some of them are good. Some of them are very successful. Some of them are really bad. And they are bad because of this. Nobody is talking about how to do this. So I'm going to explain the very bare minimum basics on how to get the videos on. Um, and then my next video will be on how to do audio because audio is hands down always been our biggest problem. So let's get into it. I'm gonna show you guys how to start. So what you're looking at right now is my gaming computer. So it's right in front of me here. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is if you're streaming with your friend, your husband, your wife, your sister, whatever you're gonna do, you wanna send your gameplay to their computer or you wanna send your gameplay to your streaming computer and then they're gonna to wanna to send their gameplay to the streaming computer as well. So I'm gonna teach you guys how to do that right now. So this is for a two PC setup for two people or a three PC setup for two people. I mean, or a three PC setup for three people. You can do 10, you can use your imagination, whatever you want. So the first step you guys are gonna want to do is click on uh, the links down below. You're gonna wanna get the plugin for this, the NDI plugin. Um, so the latest version right now is 4.5.3. So you're gonna wanna click here, whatever the latest version is for you there, it's gonna be at the very top. You're gonna go, click on the get GitHub. You're gonna go to a web page like this. You're gonna wanna download the Windows installer. Click it, download it, install it. Do not have OBS running. Close your OBS, install it. It's gonna ask you to re restart your computer, do it. You're gonna wanna install that on your computer, your wife's computer for instance, whoever you're streaming with, and the streaming computer. If you don't have a streaming computer, just you and your wife or you and your buddy, whatever it is the case may be. All computers need to have that plugin. As well, all computers need to have the latest version of OBS. If you're doing it with Streamlabs, I don't do it with Streamlabs. I've done it. I didn't like it. I don't like Streamlabs OBS. Um, this is how to do it with, with OBS. It can be done very similar with Streamlabs. I'm not going to get into that right now. So you need that all three computers also need the latest version of OBS. So right now it's 22.0.2. I'm running the 64 bit. After that's installed, you've restarted your computer. It's back on. All the computers are back on. Restarted. Open up OBS on all three computers, both computers. Up at the top here, on my gaming computer, I'm going to press Tools. I'm going to go down to NDI Output Settings. You're going to want to click Main Output because you want this computer sent out into your network so all the other computers can view your gameplay. You're going to want to name it. So if your name is Jeremy, Jeremy. PC, whatever. My name is Steffler. I'm going to call it Steffler NDI because I just like that. It makes sense to me. Done. It is now your OBS on your gaming computer is now streaming to your network. You're going to right click down in your sources because now you want, you want your gameplay to be seen, right? So you're going to add, you're going to go to display capture. You can do game capture if you want. I would say do display capture. Uh, you're going to name it, I don't know, gameplay. You can name it whatever you want. This doesn't matter at all. This is just for you on your, your side. You're just going to name it that. Press OK. You now have your gameplay. You don't need to do anything else. That is completely it. If you control all your audio on your end, everything is on your gaming PC. It's that, That's it. You're totally done. So now you can put that on your other monitor. This always needs to be running when you're streaming. Um, you do not need to press start streaming, start recording, any of this stuff. You don't got to do that anymore. So now you're going to go over to uh, the other computer that's going to be receiving the stream. In my case, it's my streaming computer. This is the game. This is the display capture on the other computer, or this is the other NDI from your wife's computer. So this is my stream PC. So right now I have display capture on simply so you guys can watch this. But if you were to add your NDI, like we're going to, you're going to right click down in here. You're going to go to add and NDI source. This is going to be new to you because you now installed that plugin. Press NDI. Uh, I'm I'm gonna name it. Um, Jeremy would name it Jeremy's gameplay. I'm gonna name it Steffler 
Steph in the I. All right. Now I know what it is over on that computer. Just gonna press it. You're gonna get this box that pops up. You're gonna press the top box here, the drop down, and that first thing that you see right now. So it says Steffler NDI. So that's what we named it over on our gaming computer was Steffler NDI. So it's now on the network streaming. So now my my streaming PC can now see it. So you just click it, press OK, and it's gonna pop up over top of everything. Drag it, put it wherever you want. Push it down, put it down here, put this one up here, do whatever the heck you guys want. And that is literally it, you guys. It, I'm not joking, it's literally that easy. Now, if you have a streaming computer and you want your wife's gameplay to pop up on here too, all you're gonna do is the same thing. Right click down here, you're gonna do all the other steps that you did on your computer, you're gonna do it on your wife's computer. It's gonna be Nancy's PC or Nancy's gameplay. You're gonna press on the tools up top. Remember, the tools, NDI, press main output, you're gonna call it Nancy's NDI. She's gonna stream her gameplay. You're gonna come over to this computer. You're gonna press right click, add. You're gonna press NDI. You're gonna name this one whatever the hell you want. Right. So Nancy needs to be seen now. So you're gonna click the drop down box. There's gonna be another one. There's gonna be this top blue one, and then there's gonna be another one here because you've now added Nancy hypothetically. You would click her gameplay, and then you would see her, and then you guys could have double double pictures like this and then you could go over let's say you had a, a fancy overlay like ours you could go ahead uh, so right click here go to add NDI source I mean, we've already added it somewhere so we're gonna add Steffler NDI since Nancy doesn't exist right now I'm gonna click it it's gonna be a big screen over top of everything put it inside your overlay another little tip I'll give you guys if you guys are new to streaming with all of your sources on OBS, you can manipulate them in any way. So if you guys see, I've got a little bit of a gap down below in my frames here. All I'm gonna do is hold down shift, hold on the center little red point here, and you can squish it and do whatever the heck you want with it. So I'm just gonna make it fit in here, and that's it. It now fits. I just gotta put it down behind my borders so it looks nice and clean. Right behind my border here, boom, done. Also, another tip, if you wanna cut out maybe your Windows bar down below, hold down Alt, it crops video. It crops anything. Alt crops, and then holding down Control, removes snapping, so it won't snap to anything on your OBS anymore. So, if you guys like this video, I'd appreciate a thumbs up, a like, Hit that notification bell. Vanessa and I are going to start doing a lot of stuff here on YouTube. We uh, do loot drops every week where we give a uh, smaller streamer just free stuff from our sponsors to go and spread some positivity and love on Twitch. It's an amazing event. They tug on your heartstrings. If you guys like stuff like that, feel good videos, make sure you check those out and come check us out on Twitch. If you need help or have any questions with us, stop by our Twitch channel, come in our Discord. All the links are down below. We're always willing to help. Even during my stream, I'll stop what I'm doing to try to help you or uh, do the best that I can. I'll get an audio video up as soon as possible. And uh, thanks for watching. Bye, guys. <laughs>